Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm Eric Brandon Parsons from Blue Orange Games, looking at King Domino Age of Giants, an expansion for King Domino, or Queen Domino, or or both. Well, yeah, yes. Sort of? Kind of? Sort of. Yeah. There is no official way yet. I've had a bunch of discussions about this, actually. But there are rules in Queen Domino for combining King and Queen. Yes. And there are rules for combining Age of Giants with either King or Queen. But That's if right. you did have two copies of Age of Giants and you did follow the rules from both sets of games, you could do it. You could do it. Okay. Technically unofficial at this point, All right. but but a clever way to sell two copies of an expansion. Sure. To I thought about people that. To do that. That's right. What an excellent observation. Yes. yes, that was our plan all along. <laughs> That's right. So, what does Age of Giants add to King Domino? I see more tiles. Yes. So uh, being added to the game. Yeah, we're adding 12 new actual domino tiles, and these are going to be very familiar to the people who are familiar with King and Queen. They look just like them, except uh, now we have the giants. So there are six dominoes with giants on them, and there are six giant tokens. Basically, the giants are bad. They're going to come and ruin your kingdom. If you draft these, you will add them to your kingdom, and you will also add the giant on top of an existing crown in your kingdom. Okay. So in the base game... Stomping out those points. Right. Crowns okay. are points, basically. Uh, and it will cover out those points for as long as this giant's on top of the crown, it's like the crown's not there. Okay. Now, the other domino uh, is the giant footsteps. And these are basically uh, very good tiles. If you get them, not only will they have uh, three crowns on them, uh, they will also have the giant footsteps, and that means that any giants in your... One giant in your kingdom can be removed and given to another player. So okay. if you add this, you're going to take away the giant in your kingdom and give it to hopefully the player in the lead, or your least favorite player. <laughs> and they will then cover up the crown of their choice. Of their choice. So a little bit of a take that mechanism. Okay. So that's the, the domino uh, part of the game. The other thing that's in the game are these tiles, and these are scoring tiles. So in the original game, there are a couple optional scoring things. Have your kingdom in the center. Your castle in the center of your kingdom was one of them. And also, if you did not discard any tiles during the game. But now those are both uh, one of the optional, or one of the available tiles. This one's similar. 20 points is in the corner. This one's an interesting one. Uh, if you have five or more um, squares in a zone without any crowns in it, then you will score ten points for that zone. Okay. And then just straightforward ones. Uh, if you, this terrain is uh, immediately next to your castle, five points. If it's in the far corners, five points for each corner. Okay. So just a and way to... each player is going to get a number of tiles, or how does, how does that Well, happen? the official rules say you're going to reveal two. Okay. Oh, and th that applies to everybody. Everybody shares them. Okay. I, I, I have a homemade way. Okay. Um, home rules being that you uh, deal three to every player. One is their face-up goal, one is their hidden goal, and then they don't use leather goal. Okay. But that's that's not a Bruno uh, rule, so. That's right. That's unofficial. a Brandon rule. That's a Brandon rule. An unofficial, unofficial way to play Brandon, Brandon rule. <laughs> you have lots of tiles available to you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we also have a tile dispenser. Yes, exactly so. So the, what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle up the dominoes we just talked about with the giants and the footsteps together with the dominoes from whichever base game you're playing, king or queen, and then you're going to put them in this um, domino dispenser. And I'm just going to put a few more of these in there, even though you would not normally put these in there. And then the way it works is you're going to pull from the bottom here, uh, and then, uh, well, those familiar with king domino, you know that you're going to organize these um, in ascending order. The letters come before numbers. Okay. It should be pretty intuitive. And um, also to mention uh, that all the giants are letters, so they're always going to be the first in line. All of the giant footsteps are numbers after 48, and that's what the base game goes up to. So you're right. the, giant, the footsteps will always be last in line. Okay. The other thing that's slightly different that Ancient of Giants adds, because we have new tiles, what we're going to do is, no matter how many players, we're always going to do five tiles. Okay. And then we're going to remove a number of tiles based on the number of players. So these were our five. Obviously, this is very unlikely to have so many Giants, but let's just pretend, like, ah, uh, yes. But this is it. There, there it is. Uh, now, in a two-player game, 
all we would do is remove uh, the middle tile because in two players we choose twice. Right. In a, and this is also for four players. And then in a three player game we remove these two. Okay. So you're always like guaranteed to have at least one giant if it's in the mix and at least one footstep that's in the mix. Okay. It forces you to play with the expansion. Okay. Last thing. We added a fifth color. So this is a color not present in King Domino or Queen Domino. So we have a new castle, uh, two new kings, and a new um, starting square so you can play with five players. Okay. Because we have more tiles in the game. You have more tiles in the game, exactly. Okay. Alright, there we go. Age of Giants expansion for King Domino. Or Queen Domino. Or Queen Domino. Or maybe even both. That's right. Prince Domino. Uh, the one that I heard online, Bruno, is Viking Domino. Viking Domino. Sick. I love it. Alright. Let's make it happen. That's 